so I am back today with a second GarageBand tutorial. If you are brand new to GarageBand and have a no clue how to use it, then you should first watch my first tutorial. I will link it up here. The main thing that I am focusing on in this video is how to speed up a song and how to slow down a song. So I primarily use GarageBand to cut music because I am a dance teacher and choreographer, so I am often cutting music. We often have to speed up a song or slow down a song because sometimes the dancers go way too fast, so you need to speed their song up so they will not be so fast and so ahead of the music the whole time. So that's actually something that we do quite often. I have a MacBook Air that I got a couple years ago, so it's a couple years old, and I will put the version of GarageBand that I'm using in the description, which if you have a super old version of GarageBand, things are a little bit different. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is open my GarageBand. I just have it at the bottom there. And click on Empty Project. Then it makes you choose one, so I just always click on the piano. And then I'll exit out of the piano and just move everything over so that I have lots of room. And then I'm gonna click the scissors and I'm gonna turn off the metronome because it just makes a ticking sound, so it is distracting. So the part you wanna pay attention to is right here. That is the tempo where it says 120. That's what we're gonna speed up or slow down. So there's two ways you can get your song into GarageBand. You can click on the far right and open up your audio library and find all of your songs there, or you can just drag it from your desktop like I am doing, and just make sure you drag it all the way to the edge when you get it in there so that it lines up with the one. We got time. Okay, so this is the most important part. You need to click on your song, so make sure you are clicked on it, and down at the bottom it says track and region. Click on track, and then check off the box that says enable flex and it should come up saying analyzing and then it will come up at the bottom. Now you are free to change the tempo. So double click on the numbers and then you can type in whatever numbers that you want and it will change the speed of your track. You? Okay, I'm gonna double click and change it to 160 so you can really hear the difference. And even more drastic, let me change it to 200, and you can hear what that sounds like. Okay, so I'm going to change this back to 160 that we had before, because that is what I would like to do with this particular song. I just want to speed it up a little bit, but make it still sound like the original song. And... I'm going to go all the way to the end here and you can change up here in the bar it to time to see how long your song is for me. I need to make sure my song is under a certain limit so I can change it to time and then you can change it back to see the tempo and everything. Okay and then the last step is to share your song. So at the very top you're going to click on share and then you're going to scroll down and click on song to music. And then a box will pop up and you can change the title of your song to what you'd like it to be. You can also change the quality down at the bottom if you need to. And then all you need to do is click on share. It will take just a couple seconds and go through it. And then your iTunes will pop right up by itself and your song will start playing and you are free to use it in iTunes. You can also save your project in GarageBand by clicking File and then Save, and you can come back and work on it later. Okay, I hope that that helps. If you have any questions on how to slow down or speed up your music, feel free to leave a comment below. And again, if you are looking for a super basic tutorial on how to use GarageBand, you can check out my first video that I did, which goes through the basics of how to do it. You can also let me know in the comments if there's a particular thing that you are trying to do on GarageBand that you would like me to help you with or make a tutorial on. I hope this video was helpful and you are successful in cutting your music on GarageBand. Thank you for watching.